Hello, it's Mr. Great Models here. This is going to be an inbox review on the Airfix 124 scale Super Green Spitfire Mark 1A. If you've seen the uh, video of the inbox of the Royal Aircraft Factory RE8s, there would be um, the models that I got for Christmas. This is one of them. So I wanted to do an inboxing review on this model because I want to start building it before. So. I've already started, I've only done the pilot, I'll show you that in a minute. At the moment this is the box, it's already been opened, as you can see, I'll just take that off. Okay, the one concern about the box I'm thinking of is, look, you got a space like about, it's just it's pretty stupid I think it is, you've got a space right here which is which is not really like acceptable because you got the sprues here and if like the the parts are just moving around in the box they all just damage and fall off and it's just annoying and also I've opened the parts bag and I've cut some of the sprues down so parts won't fall off as much I'll show you the first bit ok we've got a stand it comes with for 124 scale aircraft which is this Okay, and then we got one through which has the elevator flaps, radiators, um, some, you got the, yeah, radiator, parts of the undercarriage, wheels, yeah, the wheels in here are rubber, so you, I don't know what it is, but it's like some rubber thing, so that's one sprue, put that over there. Next sprue. This one's got the propeller on it and the ailerons for the plane, which is here. Propeller, cockpit, instruments, uh, panels that way. Seat, joystick. That's one. That's the. I'll cut them down so they're smaller, so all the parts won't fall off as much. Okay, this one's got the engine on it. As you can see, parts for the engine on this. You got the, I don't know, you might wait for it to focus. No, it won't. But you got the, it says it's got a bit of detail on the, these bits right here, and it says the Rolls Royce badge on it. So we've got those for the engine. Okay. Next one, you got the propeller nose cone. You got the rudder, and then just some parts. Really, you got the engine cover and the side of the engine covers. Yeah, this kit has got a lot of flash. I don't mean like a little bit of flash. A lot, look. That is extremely bad on the door. Let me just take this box away quickly and I'll show you this right now. Okay, on the door here, you can see flash. Look, see my finger there? Flash right there and right here. That is so much flash on there. Looks like on this side. Right there and there. You got loads of flash and there's like there's so much flash in this kit. It's, I've got to be sanding it down, smoothing it with a and polishing it really, wet and dry. So that's that, that's why I want. I think this is. I bought this kit. I thought it was going to be the newer um, tooling for it. Because but it's not really. It's just the box artwork's different, and you got other stuff. Let me just take out the fuselage half. As one, so there we go. Uh, well, you have to add the detail to it, really. You see, the engine can come off. So, uh, that. Other fuselage half. Other side. We've got rivet lines on it. 
as you can see there's that ok we've got the wings top half of the wings come in two bits as normal really arms a bit Ok, there's those two. And here's the underwing. As you can see. So the... See these holes? Right here, I'm pointing at. Is uh, to mount the Browning machine guns onto the wing itself. So... There's those those okay parts of these are the ones I haven't unboxed like unpackaged really clear parts that's that okay here's uh, one part of the sprue as I said came off which is from the propeller like when you mount it to the plane itself that I might better keep that over there so I don't lose it. Okay, we've got the this is what we're saying about the tires or the wheels. Then uh like a rubbery the only thing that's good for me about this is that it's already black, you don't have to paint it. So never tried never had a one a model with these rubber wheels or anything. Don't know if they're weighted or anything like that. They're those all the parts, one huge bag, which just all comes in. So now, I just want to show you the decals and the instruction manual, which comes with it, obviously. Okay, as normal, I'll do the decals first, really. So, decals are pretty big, as you must say. So, DWK, which is just a normal way to fix, like, because most of the Spitfires are D, DWK. And then, so they're the decals, you got a bit of detailed decals. And then you got the carrier film that goes over it. Or something like that. Okay, instructions. Okay, number one. Right, let me get my lamp. And I'll get. Okay, number one. As you can see right here, we've got the engine assembly, which is that. You go to the propeller with the engine. Then we'll have more parts of the engine on there. Start the cockpit interior detail. Well, this detail is say a 148 airfix kit is literally the same as that, but just adding parts onto it. But instead of 148, they don't have the engine, but this the 124 does. Scale does. So you get the pilot. Well, I didn't show you the pilot in the uh, sprues because I already made it. I'll show you that in a minute. Okay, that's painting instructions. Let's take that off. Okay, so you've got interior, in the interior of the plane, as in the engine on at the end, well, not the end. There's 20 steps, and there's the, there's 20 steps, and then the 21st step is about the uh, stand for the plane. But I won't be using that because I think it ruins it a bit. So yeah, as I said, the mountain the machine guns to the Browning, the Browning machine guns. On the carriage. So as you can see, number twenty there. Okay, the wings under wings, and then top wing going on. We've got the ailerons here. And then elevator assembly, and we've got uh, the door, which has got loads of flash in it. <laughs> And the uh, exhaust pipes here. So, as always, at the end, it's normally the clear canopy parts, 
um, stuff like that. And on this one, you've got the like, coverings for the engine, which you don't have to glue, so you can see the engine detail. As I said, 21 is about to stand. And that's that. This just shows you, as it's this how I found it was old, really. It says on here, well, I'm raising it now. Transfer shown on this page met apply to both versions. So you've got octane capacity in 85 gals, gallons. And then, it's like port and starboard. And then, it's just literally. It's not nothing really, you don't even need to read that. So that's the 124 scale. I've sheet. And then, painting instructions you've got the DWK one, which I'm going to be doing from Biggin Hill in Royal Air Force, as normal, England, July 1940. Squadron 610, 610. So, as you see, the WK. Okay, this one is the the one that's right near where I live, Manston, from Kent, December 1940. Yep, so I won't be doing this one because, as I said in the last video, I'm not keen to do the underside black. It just doesn't really appeal to me. So, that's the instruction sheet. And instructions uh painting scheme decals parts as normal oh yeah this is my new working space i'll just show you quickly so you just got three drawers where i just put my stuff in air fix uh just mounted shelves with my dad oh yeah wait i'll show you the pilot first go about him this pilot here just um i always do the pilot whilst i'm doing another kit it takes too long. Yep, so goggles all done. I've done the zip detail. He's pretty big. So that's the pilot. Always do him. Takes part in the plane, I would say. Okay, and now this is my shelf, as I said. My Lancaster bomber is there. I just need a shelf that I fit bigger models. I just got equipment. And then more models that I've made. I've got more models up in the loft. There's just so many now, I can't fit them anywhere. So I've got like scale electrics as well. You got the Aston Martin, Scale Electrics Club. I've got a couple of models over there. Models to build. I've got so many models to build, I don't even know what to start on next. Measurement BF110 under the Red Star Air Fix Club Kit North American F86 Star Saber and MiG 15 Air Fix Club Kit again. I haven't even done any of those. The Measurement 148 the Air Cobra Albatross Red Arrows Hawk Supreme Spit for Mark 1A and the Yak 9D. And I got European Union built uh, European building thing. So what all that you seen before I made? Yep, Lancaster. Okay, thanks for watching this vid on the video on the, the um, Spitfire Mark 1A by 124 scale. I just wanted to do this video so it could be completed soon. Thanks for watching. Goodbye for now.